This is the second video in a short series for our Access Database project. In this video, we're going to look at making a table that will link actors and films together in our Movie Magic database. So, to open up Access, we need to go and find our Movie Magic database, which, if you follow the last video, you should have in your documents and then subjects, computing, databases, and finally double click on Movie Magic. Here we are again in Access, and if we open up our Actors table, you will see the Twitter information we added last time and the films. Now, let's say I have an actor such as um, Eddie Redmayne. Eddie Redmayne is a British actor that's been in a number of films, including Theory of Everything. He's been in um, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. He was also in The Danish Girl. So it would be nice if we could somehow link together Eddie Redmayne and those three films. We have one option, and that would be simply to add a new field called Actor. And then we could put Eddie Redmayne's Actor ID number, 4, into that column. And that would work, um, but it would be limiting because it would mean that only one actor could be registered to each film. And obviously there's more than one actor in each film. Um, alternatively, we could go to actors and we could add a film ID column. But then I could only put the ID number of a single film in. So that would limit each actor to one film. Instead, we need to have the facility to say that many different actors might be associated with many different films. And to do that, we create an extra table which is going to link the two together. So to do this, we need to go to Create, Table, and we get a new blank table. Now the first thing we want to do is change its design. So we're going to go to the View menu and Design View. And we'll be asked at this point to name and save our new table. So let's call it Link, because we're going to use it to link together actors and films. Press OK. And we can see that our link table has one field, which is ID. And that field automatically gets a new number for every new record, which is brilliant. It means we don't have to worry about creating unique keys for each of the links between the actors and the films that we're going to be storing in our table. We need to add some new columns uh, or fields, and we're going to add actor ID so that we can associate an actor. And for that, we need the number field or data type. And we're going to do film ID. And again, that's going to be a number type. If we now go to the data sheet view for the link table, we'll be asked if we want to save, press yes. We're now ready to start linking films and actors together by entering the appropriate actor ID and film IDs. So let's go back to Eddie Redmayne. He's number four, actor number four. And he was in films two, three, and four. So we can add that information by clicking on actor ID, putting in a four, film ID, putting in a two. On the next row, actor ID four, film three, and on the next row, actor four, film four. We now have a link between Eddie Redmayne and each of those three films. We're not quite sorted yet. If we looked at our films, we've got only 40 films in our database. But if we typed in Actor ID, let's stick with Eddie, so let's do Actor ID 4, but film 87, there is no 87th film. And yet, our table lets us do this. So we've got some nonsense data here. We're saying that Eddie Redmayne is joined up with film number 87 when there is no film 87. To stop that happening, we have to impose relationships between the tables in Access which tells Access to check if the data in our tables actually um, is, is valid and is, is, is accurate, whether this actually references genuine films that exist. So to do that, 
We're first of all going to close all our tables down. So right click on any of those three tabs and do close all. Then go to database tools and relationships. You'll be asked to show some tables, so just click and drag to select all three and press add. Then you can close that window. Now it helps if we put films on one side and link in the middle and actors in the middle uh, on the left. And then we want to connect actor ID to actor ID here and film ID to film ID here. So we simply click and drag and make sure we're hovering over actor ID when we let go. And say we're going to enforce referential integrity. That means that our links have got to link to genuine records in our master table. Press create. And let's do the same for films. So film ID to film ID. And we're going to enforce. That means we're going to check the film IDs actually exist. And let's press create. Ah, we have an error. We can't create this relationship. And that's because there may be records relating to something that doesn't exist in our master table. And indeed, that's exactly what we've got. We're referencing film 87 when there is no film 87. Right, well, we're going to have to fix that. So let's press OK. Let's cancel that. And let's close that for now. We can save our current changes. Let's go back to our link table. And we're going to have to delete this record because it's got some dodgy data. Right click on the little grey blocks to the left and press delete record. Yes, we're going to delete it. And now it's gone. Let's close our table again. And let's go back to database tools, relationships. And let's try and reinstate film ID to film ID now. Enforce the relationship, click create. And it's let us do that. Let's close our relationships. Let's go back to our link table. And now let's try and enter again that dodgy link. Actor 4, film 87. And this time, access should stop us because the film, the target film, doesn't exist. And it has indeed done that. It says you cannot add or change a record because a related record is required in the table films, i.e., we need a film 87 before we can make a link between an actor and film 87. So let's press OK and let's just access will complain a little bit. So let's just put it to number one for now. And then we can right click and delete that record and get rid of that nonsense. So that's making a link table and establishing relationships between our tables. If you've not done that, go and do that to your database now. It may help to watch this video in little stages. Do a bit, pause it, watch a bit, pause it, do a bit more until you've got to this stage.